Hey guys, it's so great to have you watching my video. This is Crazy Russian Sun, and today I wanted to show you my new setup in my room and to give you a glimpse into my life as an artist. I'm super into art. I've been drawing my whole life. I love painting. Lately I've been animating. Right now I'm taking this summer course on character design and I'm having a lot of fun. And so I wanted to just show you this other side to my life that you may not have seen before. I'm gonna start with showing you my brand new desk I got for my birthday. We finally built it. It's super cool. The best part is that the desk can be raised and lowered. There's no discomfort for the wrist because I can draw at any angle and it's awesome. The other cool thing is that I've got these pens here. There's this cool built-in pen holder. I can take one of these cool pens out, okay? As I please, I can just draw, grab another pen, and sketch out ideas. The other great thing about my setup is that, as you can see, I have two desks. This other desk is just to lay out stuff and to be on my computer. It's less of an art desk. But right now, I have a bunch of these note cards all over the table, which is for me to help visualize the story for an upcoming project that I'm working on, which you guys will see all about in future videos. They're there for me to just look at, and then I can turn to the other desk and scribble and then turn back. It makes me feel like a super cool artist, and it's awesome. The other thing is that I do a lot of my drawing around the house, just in the sketchbook. Lately, I've been into drawing birds. It's a lot of fun. I've also been doing a a lot of figures for the class I'm taking. Here I drew my dog in many different poses. Here are a bunch of feet. This is me. Some of you may have seen that I posted this on Facebook. This is a self-portrait I did for the class. Here are more birds. So as you can see I do a lot of drawing in the sketchbook just around the house just to relax and it's a lot of fun. The other thing I do, I may have mentioned this, is that I like to paint. Mostly I do a lot of nature, things from my imagination or things that I see. My last painting was a painting of the backyard and I kind of got creative with it. It went in a different direction, but that's acrylic. And the one I'm doing now is my first oil painting. It's four by three, so it's enormous, at least for me. I'll show you guys the process as I work along through the painting. So now I want to give you a glimpse into what art I do digitally through my Wacom and I'm gonna just set it up really quickly and then show you what I do. So here's the actual Wacom. It's a Wacom Cintiq. I use it to do digital artwork, including animation, which I'll show you in just a second. And it's kind of a display that shows what's going on in the computer and it makes it a lot easier to draw because it has this really cool stylus that's pressure sensitive on eraser and drawing mode. So I need to plug it into the computer also. Ah, what a cool setup. Okay, so as you can see, it helps to have this at an incline because it's just much easier to draw. So I forgot these things that go on the Wacom to make sure it doesn't slip. There we go. Now it's a bit safer. So now I turn on my computer. I turn on the Wacom. So as you can see, it's just a blank screen. I've got some cool apps that I use. One of them is Photoshop, which I've been kind of dabbling in just to see how it works. And then mainly I use Adobe Animate, which is a really cool software that I use for traditional animation that's hand drawn, just like Walt Disney did. So I'm still learning how to animate but it's been a lot of fun to experiment with different things. I can show you a couple of examples. So this is what the software looks like. It's super cool. You just click on one of these to create a new project, and it's really easy. I'm gonna make it fit the screen. So there's a blank slate. It says if I'm drawing on a blank piece of paper, and here if I choose brush, I can just draw, and I can make it pressure sensitive, and I can draw like that, and then erase, just like a regular pencil. Down here you can see there are lots of frames and I can create new ones anywhere on the timeline. I've been doing this for about a year and I'm still learning how to animate but I'm having a lot of fun experimenting so I'll show you a few examples of the things I've done and hopefully you'll enjoy them. So I really love my dog and I really wanted to try to capture her running after a squirrel. So here's the first frame. For now I'll just let it play and you guys can watch and then I'll talk about what's in here. So here, all these little black dots are new frames, and so I was just experimenting with different angles, and I had a lot of fun capturing my dog chasing after the squirrel. So in this one animation alone, there are 170 separate drawings, separate frames, and this is in the traditional animation style, so everything has to be hand-drawn, but I really love drawing, so I had a lot of fun making it. 
So this one that I'm about to show you is a bit more advanced. I colored it in, I added different elements just to experiment with that sort of thing. Here is just the background on its own, and I'll just let it play out. It's not fully finished, at some point the mer person disappears, but I had a lot of fun trying to figure out how all the colors work together. Here, I'll show you one layer at a time what's going on. The first layer that I worked on was just the basic animation of the mer person. So here it is, on its own. Then I added the color to it. Finally, I added this extra element of seaweed in the background kind of to make it more lively. And I added some water and bubbles just to add an effect. So, it's been a lot of fun to show you my new setup. I look forward to making more art and more art videos for you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.